Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagda and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense. Starts with c6. Followed by d5. Opponent advances the pawn. So it's the advanced variation. So bishop f5. And come back. And now play pawn to e6. And develop your knight on d7. And now we can probably break or just chill up. Okay, let's develop maybe with the knight. Yep, that's make, that makes more sense. Yep, certainly now. Can exchange the knights, maybe. Or I can pin. Doesn't work though. Let's sell up. Okay. Let's pin. Now I can take. Hmm. I'll spawn forward. Not sure. Can give a check, maybe Max doesn't. I can take or I can just proceed forward. Let's block the situation. Goes back. Shall I come back too? Okay, let's take this. Now my knight is not doing much. Bad pieces of the board. Simple. So now I'm attacking with two pieces. He better go with the knight back on d2. Trying to defend the knight with the knight. And if that's the case, we are going first with the bishop here maybe. Okay. Decides to do this. I'll take. And I'll come back. Is it really required? No. Let's exchange the bishops if he's willing to. If not, I can just plant it back. Exchange the bishop as well. Okay, let's go with the other knight. The power of knights. My Avengers are coming to get you. Knight Hill looks also nice, forcing him to take with the bishop. Probably. And then he has to, yeah. No, no. I better take is bishop first takes with the queen maybe I oh, can give a check first doesn't need to 
to see if this spawns somehow. Let's go here. Not sure how good of a move that is. I need to cancel on the queen side now. At the earliest. Because he's coming with one hell of an attack. And I said he's coming for me. Okay. Queen here. Trying to hang out to the knight. He's trying to line up his rooks. Wheel castle. I already saw that that castle is coming, so now he's thinking what to do. Still goes with the gut. That's always a nice feeling. He's trying to still come on. Probably I can win on time as well if I'm fast enough. Rook on f8 and then playing pawn forward would mean that he has to take. Okay, I don't need to take here. So I can continue my plan. If he takes, I take back. It doesn't. Um, it's more forcing. Let's start with this because the pawn here is weak. You always have to find weaknesses. Only one piece is defending it. So we're just trying to exploit that fact that I can take on this pawn with my knight or my rook. Anything is pretty much okay. So just trying to create and observe that weaknesses in the pawn structure. That's important. Everything looks okay to me apart from that. Yes, he's trying to attack and break open from there, but we are attacking where the king is and all his pieces are defending or probably attacking on the wrong side of the board. That's one problem. I can let him take, doesn't matter. What I can do is take with the rook meanwhile. Or with the knight. Let's take with the knight. I has to do something with the rook as well, maybe. Trying to make progress in games. Trying to go with the other knight as well. Exchange them. After, of course, he takes, pressurizing the opponent and winning on time as well. Okay, this doesn't work because I just can't move. Oh, he just changed the whole direction of the attack. That's interesting, but queen is defending it. So I need not bother. But carry on with my plan. Ah, I've got a good move. How do you deal with this? That's a fork. Probably can't deal with this. Was he thinking to play pawn forward? It doesn't matter. I can exchange rooks as well if required. After, of course, he moves. Okay. Uh, let's take this. There's no way he can mate me at the earliest. Okay, I'm coming. Hmm. Give another check, maybe? Winning on time, I can do anything. Okay. Let's help your cause. That's another check. And you lose it. Another check. Another check. 
good enough. So yeah, that was finally a nice win and I enjoyed it. 36 moves. Let's analyze if he wouldn't have done any blunder at the end. Still, it was pretty much winning for black. Let's analyze the game. Started off with uh, e4 there. I spawned with c6, the Karukan defense. He plays e4, I go for d5. Standard moves in the Karukan, and it's the advanced variation because he advanced the pawn on e5. Had he exchanged, uh, it becomes the exchange variation. If he doesn't do anything about the pawn but keeps it on e4 itself, rather develops the knight on c3, that becomes the Karukan main line. So your advanced one is the most challenging, uh, and we play bishop f5 here. Offering bishop exchange, I generally not do that, asking him to take on g6. Yes, this is one threat always, but generally uh, rated players, only grandmasters know these moves, basically. This is a system uh, computer move, and you generally don't see it very often. Um, so I played, he often plays knight to f3, and I play e6, and now we are back in the game. Situation is pretty normal. Open castles, we go for knight d7, developing the pieces getting the other knight on e7, and then going to f5 with the knight, attacking the bishop, and then trying to develop the bishop. So all these are best moves, as, as you're seeing the arrow as well, uh, developing is pretty much nice, apart from one thing which we did and in, intentional in the opening. Uh, here I didn't want to castle immediately. I wanted to just improve my pieces and try to pin the knight there, uh, and then go for c5 break. He doesn't do anything about it. I can take on the knight bishop, but then he takes with the queen, so no benefit there. I went to c4. Yes, I knew that he can take on uh, the knight, but then after he takes, I take back. I don't see much of problems there. Yes, knight can come here, but I can go back and defend the pawn. Pawn forward again is a move which you will not see quite often. So we were pretty much good in the game. Uh, and here I just tried to exchange the knights. And he doesn't, which is bad because I take on with the bishop first. Uh, if I take with the knight, that's also okay because he gets to take with the pawn. And probably just for his pawn structure. Uh, the bishop is not going much useful there though. And if I come back now, this time he can of course take uh, if he's willing to. So in the game I took with the bishop, he takes with the pawn and I go with for exchanging the dark square bishop as well. Why is it a bad move? Because here I, I can come back. What's the harm? We can proceed with the pawn. Hmm, interesting. I cannot take that weakening for sure. And some point of time this knight is going to be undefended. That's the threat. So maybe I would have actually in the game maybe castle doesn't look doesn't look right to me too. Uh, if I take, he takes, I take, some exchanges happen, but this is, isn't this okay, if I castle? Material-wise, we are okay, but computer saying it's losing because he's coming, and I can just, this knight moves is the best move, but probably doesn't work. Or it does. Yes, it helps me to save the knight at that point of time. Ah, uh, the other bishop is also coming. The only way is to play forward. And then just he will just try to find out a way to enter on g7 and mate with the queen. Rook lift will of course help. And things can go wrong pretty pretty quick. So had to be careful there. Thankfully you didn't see that. And I went with knight to g6 next. Uh, I, he offered me, he was attacking the bishop uh, with the rook as well as the bishop. Um, so I had to take it. I took, he takes back with the pawn. Right move. Uh, castling computer still saying you can castle, but you sh I don't feel like castling when the uh, king is literally open, opened up from the other side. So he can just get the rooks and attack. So I don't want to do that. I played rook g8. Uh, it does a rook left there, rook to g4. I do queen e7 with the idea of castling on the queen side, maybe. He lines up, I castle. And now it's 1.8 in favor of 2 in favor of white. So white is an advantage. 
we had to just come back and that's what i tried to do in the first place uh, rook alignment there uh, and then trying to break open from uh, f6 uh, he takes the pawn uh, b takes on c4 i take on the pawn trying to open up the situation and here he had to take the center pawn why what's the idea because even if he does that I can still go on and take this with the knight or the rook. So I would have taken with the knight. And what is the opponent doing now? He's going here. I can uh, just simply sidestep maybe. Everything is okay for the computer. Okay, I would have gone this maybe. Oh, my rook can be attacked. If I go here, I lose a pawn. And that's coming down my throat. If I save. Rook down. I have to take. He takes. I have to save this. How's this? Bad. Because the diagonal take comes with a check. That could have been troublesome as well. So I, let's go back to the game where he doesn't take the right pawn. He took the wrong pawn. And uh, after he takes, I took on the pawn with uh, the knight. I should have taken this rook, okay? The idea was to attack his rook there. He tries to go for counterattack on the queen side. Tries to line up stuff, and I see the folk coming. Tries to attack, I take. He takes the pawn first. I can save the knight, but I gave a check. Ah, oh, he didn't take the rook too. At the end, it was... Completely bad from both the sides, I would say. He takes the rook this time. I took on his knight. He takes my knight. I give a check. And then check with the knight. Takes. And then some checks to follow up. And there he lost some time, maybe. Or, yeah, he resigned actually. Yeah, so that was quick. Uh, good solid game in the middle. Some mistakes at the end, but yeah, some takeaways as well. Um, trying to align rooks in front of the rooks, trying to take uh, break open the situation where the opponent's king lie, not on the wrong side of the board. So attack has to be nice, and yeah, it was successful this time. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye bye.